Hello and welcome back to another video and in this video we are going to be discussing the success story of Audi. From the R8 supercar to the expensive fleet of luxury sedans and SUVs, Audi is one such brand which has made an impact on how luxury travelling alongside technology can be achievable. But how did this automotive giant come to being so successful? In this video, we are going to be finding just that. So stay tuned till the end. Welcome to Schematic World. This is Shantan Mukherjee helping you how to grow yourself today. If you are new here and want to learn more on how to develop entrepreneurial abilities, then start now by subscribing to the channel and clicking on the bell notifications so that you never miss an update. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. History and Early Years Dating back to the 20th century, a German engineer named August Horch alongside his team of 15 members started the company named A. Horch and CIE in the 1899. However, by 1901, when the company was already rolling out cars, Horch left the company because he wanted the name of the entire company to himself. This is when he launched another company named Audi Automobile Worke GmbH Zikwau, where he used the term Audi which literally translated to Horch as in here in Latin. The brand was not registered until the 1910s even though Horch started the company back in the 1909 and this was the time when the company was producing the best automobiles in the market. When the first world war was hit, the company was forced to manufacture cars for the war to be used by the military which resulted in heavy losses for the company during the post-war period. This is when Hotch left the company thinking it would not survive and the management was left on its own to revive the falling company between 1927 and 1931. This was the time when the company decided to merge with the others in order to sustain in the market. Audi Union GmbH The result of the merger formed Audi Union AG which was a formation by Audi, Horch, DKW and Wanderer and this is what is signified by the four rings that form the logo of the company today. The company resumed its name to be the best manufacturers of automobiles yet again before the World War II. As soon as the war kicked in, the company was once again forced to manufacture automobiles for the war especially because most of the automobile manufacturers were out of business due to the bombings by the Americans. Post Second World War Since the war, Audi never faced any financial problems and kept on manufacturing world-class vehicles. Soon, the company came out with their four-stroke engines which replaced their old and outdated two-stroke engines and this was considered a groundbreaking innovation in the automobile industry back then. The sales figure of this brand kept growing since the advent of the 21st century. From 653,000 customers to just over a million customers within 2000 and 2008 made all the difference this company needed to grow. The nations working for Audi's patrons are Eastern Europe, South Africa, Middle East and China. The vehicles A3 and A7 saw a record-breaking sale in the year 2011 for Audi when the number of cars sold by Audi in the United States alone increased from 408 to 480. The vehicles were so good in its class that people who were tired of BMWs and Mercedes-Benzes were not even making a second thought before grabbing an Audi. Today, the company has 99.55% shares under the Volkswagen Group and is under the leadership of CEO and Chairman Mr. Rupert Stadler. The group has also acquired many other famous brands such as Ducati, Ital Design, Dugario, Lamborghini and Quattro GmbH. To summarize, manufacturing with great design and state-of-the-art technology has always been the principal philosophy of the company and it makes sure to never compromise on that quality. 
This is what made this company stand so strong today despite many hardships during the first world war era. I hope you learned something new today. If you did, then let me know down in the comments below what are your thoughts on this massive luxury automobile manufacturer. Also, check out my other videos linked here on the end screen and with that, I shall take my leave and I shall see you in the next one. Thank you.